Hey guys, I'm Ardav, and today I'm in Space Engineers to show you a quick tech demo of a project I've been working on for about a year now, Fleet Command Mark II. Just as a bit of an introduction, Ardav's Fleet Command is an entirely vanilla in-game script that allows a player to control an entire automated fleet akin to a strategy game like Homeworld or Empire at War. This version I've been working on is substantially improved since my early attempt, which if you might remember, and I've put a lot of hours trying to turn the dream into reality. So now the code is nearing release, I'd just like to give a quick tech demo of a few of the new features and generally show things off a bit. To do that, I've assembled an enemy gathering of a range of ship types. A fighter, Keen's Blue 2 ship, and lastly, Keen's Military Mine Layer, a heavy ship. So I'm just going to engage them with the fleet and then hopefully show off what the code can do in the process and some of the new ship types and AIs. Fleet Command Mark II will come with six AI types or classes of AI. So each class with its own behaviour will be able to react differently and engage in different ways, allowing for some proper tactical gameplay using the different classes. So set up here I have a small fleet ready to engage the enemy, currently following my central command ship. Unlike previous versions, the system entirely runs on antenna communication, so you never need to connect ships to add them to the fleet. I've gone to great lengths to make the code easy to use, so, in fact, you can actually paste in or weld in ships to add them immediately to the fleet. The system also has a completely redundant user interface, allowing full real-time strategy gameplay, scrolling, selecting, and general commanding, all from an LCD. The LCD menu shows all surrounding data in 3D, fed to the system via Raycast network in real-time. Along with all ship symbols and data displayed on the map, it also shows your ship count along the bottom buttons for docking and undocking, and zoom in and out buttons. So I'm going to issue an attack command to the small group of ships on my left flank to attack that military mine layer. And as you select a group of ships in RFC and issue a command, they will automatically form up on each other, like what can be seen here. Because that mine layer is a heavy ship, I'm attacking with a heavy missile frigate. Heavy missile frigates are large ship killers aimed at breaking down enemy capital ships at long range. When they come within 4 kilometers from the enemy, they will start hurling missiles towards them. Players can connect the code to their favorite missile scripts via timer. So, that mine layer is pretty battered now, so let's pull that missile group back and engage the next target. The LCD displays enemy symbols proportionate to their size, so now that the ship is destroyed, the menu shows the enemy ship in small pieces, floating across space. The next ship we'll be engaging is the Keen Blue Ship. As this one is a bit lighter, we'll attack with a standard frigate. So we'll separate off a group and then get it to go near the enemy. The frigate air has been multiplayer battle tested to make it as deadly as possible, and will maneuver around the enemy ship while bombarding it with sequenced directional weapon fire. Normally I use frigates to harass the enemy and take out lighter ships, while my missile frigates can barrage the enemy capitals. So that blue ship is out of the count. Let's pull that back and then engage the last target, the fighter. The Interceptor AI is an absolutely lethal small ship destroyer. To design the Interceptor AI, I did a test of the most effective dogfighting techniques in multiplayer and programmed them in. Drones will dogfight and attack using Newtonian maneuvers and drift cancelling motion to get guns on the target for the most amount of time. So that's every enemy you dispatch now. So before I head off, let me just first quickly demonstrate one of my favourite new features, the smart docking. The new system means any interceptor can dock on any ship larger than a frigate, provided it has a free docking point. Along with that, the system now supports intelligent docking systems, allowing docking drones to follow complicated docking routes, following LCD trails laid through the ship. On undocking, the drones follow these paths back out the ship, so people can use combinations to form launch tubes and ramps. So that about concludes things for now folks. I hope I've given you an insight into what's coming up soon and got everyone hyped a level for it. I know I'm pretty excited to get things released. Uh, release is still about a few weeks or so off, just have some more bugs and issues to process first. So um, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking, and remember to check out the description for some more links and info. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and see you next time!